Camille, I think we're pretty strong now. I guess. I mean, I think we're stronger than we were before. But there's always room for improvement. Modest as always. I think you'll just keep getting stronger. The sky's the limit. And you'll get stronger right along with me. We can do it. As long as we stick together. Right. Together forever. Right. You have now befriended 25 monsters. It's sort of sad. What's wrong? Aren't you happy? 25 monsters isn't bad. Yeah, but this means I have more monster friends than human ones. That is, rather... Yeah, okay, that's sad. Halt! This area is strictly off limits! Why? Did something happen? It's all those earthquakes we've been having. The inside of the temple collapsed. It's a mess in there. So we can't go inside? Nope. Don't think anyone's going to be able to before they finish repairs. What should we do? Well, we could head to the Temple of Lightning in the meantime. A summon spirit used to be there, so the core could be as well, right? Perhaps. By the way, why don't we hatch Glockius's core before we set out again? Oh, good idea! I almost forgot about it. We haven't touched it since we got it. Now Glockius has awoken too. That's good. Mew? Perhaps he's simply exhausted from everything that's happened. You may be right. Let's take him back to town. Mio, what's wrong? Marta, it's you. You're the other Emil, aren't you? You can tell? Oh yeah, you didn't want me around. No! It's just, ever since what happened, you only showed yourself when we were in battle. So I was worried about you. You were? Come to think of it, you did stand up for me. Huh? Marta, do you need me? Of course. You're in the up too. So you don't mind if I show up again? Of course not. Thank you. Huh? Marta, what just happened? What do you mean? We were talking. Really? I'm sorry. It's nothing. My mistake. Oh, okay. You should get some more rest. Yeah, I'll do that. Good night, Marta. Mm, good night. Emil, what's happening to you? a restricted area. No one is allowed to enter. A restricted area? But why? None of your business. Now go! Marta, are you okay? What are you doing? Excuse me, but if you would just listen to it. Shut up, kid. Get out of here. Emil! Stop, that's enough. That's why I can't let you handle anything. Hmm? What are you mumbling about? <laughs> Nobody lays a hand on Marta! Wait, Emil! Please don't hurt them! Why not? This fool just attacked you! 
We need their help, Emil. So we can get inside the temple. That won't be a problem if we kill them all. Emil, you're in Ratatosk mode again. Pull yourself together. You've got to calm down and return to your normal self. My normal self can't keep Marta safe. Acting like this won't keep Marta safe either, will it, Emil? What? Just put your blade away. Provoking unnecessary hostilities isn't going to help our cause. What's going on here? Director Snyder! Uh, these people were trying to force their way into the temple! It's all right. This is only a simple misunderstanding. We were just wondering why this area has been sealed off. Oh, you're Duke Bryant, aren't you? Duke Bryant? You mean the president of the Lazareno Company? Uh, you should have said so in the first place. We're glad to help the president of such a fine establishment. I must apologize for this unfortunately rude welcome. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Snyder, the director of Cybax Imperial Research Academy. Recently, the Temple of Lightning has become quite dangerous. We've restricted access to only those who have permission from the Academy. Oh, really? But why? What happened here? We really need to get inside. It's very urgent. Well, I can make some exceptions as long as your cause is justified. Once I've finished my work, I'll be glad to hear you out. Perhaps you could wait for me at the Imperial Research Academy until then. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Yes, thank you. Emil, any objections? <gasps> you, you are... What? What's wrong with you? What's with the stupid expression? Do you know Emil? Emil? Of course, that's impossible. There's no way it could be him. What is it? Does he remind you of someone? <laughs> no, it's nothing. Please disregard my comments. Now, if you'll excuse me. I wonder who you remind him of. Who cares? How the hell would I know? Well, anyway... Why are you always so aggressive when you're in Ratatosk mode? I wonder where the Imperial Research Academy is. We've been there before. It's towards the far end of town. With Lloyd? Yes, that's right. All right, let's head to the Imperial Research Academy and wait for Director Schneider to return. Okay. Why do they all look so pale? <laughs> well, yeah. This town's packed to the gills with bookworms and eggheads. So they're the complete opposite of you? Well, excuse me. And what about you, huh? <laughs> I'm in the same boat. Looks like you both could stand a bit of polish at the hands of Professor Sage. <laughs> Better hope her ruin mode disease isn't contagious. Like you're one to talk. You're... You're... You're Aster! You're alive! See, I told you not to get all buddy-buddy with that half-elf. Who are you? And who the hell is Aster? You're Aster! They said you died while looking for that summon spirit, Ratatosk. Hold on, did you say Ratatosk? You're researching Ratatosk here? Huh? Are you a friend of Aster's? His name is Emil. He's not Aster. Settle down, everyone. 
I am Regal Bryant. Director Schneider instructed us to wait for him here. Duke Bryant? My, my apologies. The director is currently out in the field. Yes, I'm aware. Oh, oh right, of, of course. Please come inside. The director's room is on the second floor. This is the last room back. Thank you. I wonder who this Aster guy is and if he really looks like Emil. Who knows? It sounds like they're still holding on to that same old half-elf bigotry. I can't say I like that. It is difficult for people to change. Prejudice against half-elves has been around for over 4,000 years. It'll be a while before it starts to fade. I guess you're right, but still. I wouldn't be surprised if they were still locking half-elves up in the basement and forcing them to do research. They actually did something like that? Perhaps we should stop by the basement and check. You mean, go where half-elves might be? I don't believe it. You too? You're friends with Rain and Genus, aren't you? Yes, you're right. Feeling afraid like this, it isn't fair to Rain or Genus. I'm sorry. Well then, shall we? Here, eat. D did you make this? Yeah. Something wrong? No, it just looks a bit different. I believe rough might be the word you're looking for. You always did things like carve the apples into rabbit shapes or shave carrots into flower petals. Who the hell bothers with stuff like that? But, I mean, is this edible? I'll throw it out if you don't want it. No, sorry. I'm going to eat it. Huh? It tastes just as good as the food you usually make. My. Though comparable in appearance to the disturbing products of Lady Marta's cooking, it would seem the flavor is perfectly fine. Hey, watch it! This is where half-elves were forced to do research. They were locked up here their entire lives. Imprisoned in here? That's horrible. Can you imagine? Emil, are you all right? Where am I? What is it? You look like you just woke up from a dream. Uh, Marta! You're not hurt, are you? What happened to those mean knights? Are you okay? Huh? Come on, wake up already. The Temple of Lightning was off limits, so we came to the Cybac Imperial Research Academy, remember? We did? Perhaps you're just tired. Why don't you get some rest at the inn? I'll send a messenger as soon as the director returns. Okay. I'll go with you. Sure, thanks. Emil, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just spaced out there for a second. I wonder if you have a fever. Anyway, let's get you back to the inn for some rest. Okay. I'm sorry to worry you. You look just like him. Huh? They've been saying you look like someone named Aster. I do? You're a dead ringer. You could be his twin. But I heard Aster was killed by Richter, so... Richter? Oh, you've heard of Richter? He used to be a researcher here. A half-elf. A half-elf? I did notice he's able to use magic. Was this Richter a tall man with red hair? Yes, a redhead. He went off to investigate a summon spirit named Ratatost and ended up killing Aster. They were best friends, too. What a sick bastard. Damn those half-elves. That's a lie. Richter would never do something like that. Emil, wait! Please, try to calm down. I must have reminded Richter of Aster. Emil. That's why he was so nice to me. 
If Richter really did kill Aster, it doesn't make sense why he'd be nice to someone who looks just like him. Yeah, if you trust Richter, then I do too. Now let's go get some rest at the inn, okay? Okay. Marta, do you really think this Aster person was killed by Richter? H hey, ha have you heard this story? Long ago, a little boy and girl lived deep in the forest. A little boy and girl. One day, while out on a stroll, they came upon a house made entirely of jettles. They were hungry, so they started to eat it, when suddenly this old woman... Why do I look so much like this Aster? Maybe he's a distant relative or something. Uh... It appears you were unable to alter his troubled mood. By the way, I'm rather curious about the end of your story. <sighs> Does it really matter? They all lived happily ever after, the end. Hmm. Are you awake? Tenebrae, yeah. I had a really weird dream. A dream? Yeah, a dream where I'm killed by Richter. Hey, where's Marta? She received word from Regal and left. Shall we follow? Yeah. A Neo isn't a Neo? At the very least, that's what Rain believes. She said as much in the letter she wrote me. I've been observing him for a while, and I believe his Ratatosk mode cannot be fully explained by possession alone. I think Regal may be right. We once witnessed one of our friends being possessed. When Emil's in Ratatosk mode, he's being possessed by Ratatosk's power, right? But it sure lasts a long time for a mere possession, and he recalls those periods as part of his own memories. But recently, it seems like he doesn't remember what happens while he's in Ratatosk mode. In our experience, the possessed party is aware they are being possessed. However, here, Emil perceives the possession as a part of him, and recently he has no memory of the incidents. This is just as Rain predicted. What exactly did she say? Rain's hypothesis is that the real Emil is suffering from a form of amnesia. She theorizes that the Emil we know is an invention of his mind, created to fill in the holes of his missing memories. I don't see how that's possible. His aunt and uncle recognize him as their nephew. That puzzles me as well. But Rain believes that his real self lies dormant along with his memories. She suspects that perhaps his pact with Ratatosk stimulated his mind, unlocking this inactive portion. Otherwise, I see no reason why his personality would dramatically transform simply from borrowing Ratatosk's power. Emil! In other words, the person I am now is a fake? You heard us. Regal! That's not exactly right. You're Emil as well. But your personality was created as a way to face society after you lost your memory. Then what am I? This is nothing more than my own hypothesis. Rain might disagree with this, but perhaps this person named Aster is actually you. I'm Emil. Aster is supposed to be dead. Could this be why I remember getting killed by Richter? Because I'm actually Aster? They told us to Richter Snyder us back in the city. Let's go to the research academy and hear what he has to say, okay? But, Marta... We can't just leave you like this. Marta's right. And there's something else you should know. Regal's reason for saying all that wasn't so he could call you a fake. He brought it up because he's worried that you'll disappear entirely. The you you are now is important to us. To me, Regal, Rain, to all of us. Thank you. I am sorry for bringing all of this up. Please don't apologize. I want to know what's going on inside me more than anyone. Let's go to the research academy.
terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. Now, you wish to enter the Temple of Lightning? Yes, and there's something else we'd like to ask you. What can you tell us about the person named after? And Richter as well. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew you and Aster were related the moment I saw you. So, are you his brother? No, you see... Quite an interesting tale indeed. You may very well be Aster. You certainly look enough like him. Did you meet your relatives in Lewin when you were young? No, I met them for the first time after Paul Macosta was attacked. Hmm. Then it's certainly possible that Aster took on your name and identity somewhere along the line. But isn't Emil too young to have been a researcher here? Aster began conducting research at our facilities when he was nine years old. He was brilliant. It was hard to believe he wasn't a half-elf. If he was still alive, he'd be 18. Emil, how old are you? I'm 16. But if I really did lose my memory... Right. You wouldn't know how old you actually are. What did Aster research when he was here? He was originally studying summon spirits. I believe you may have met him in Mel Tokyo's elemental research laboratory. I knew I recognized Emil from somewhere. While studying the relevance of summon spirits and the environment, he theorized monsters regulate the world's mana levels. To prove this, he set out to perform a field test with a summoned spirit called Ratatosk. That was roughly two years ago. And Richter went along too? Correct. Richter was a half-elf who worked here. He and Aster got along quite well, even collaborating in their research. The two left town to conduct the test together. So what happened? I don't know the details. Richter told us that Aster had died, and he subsequently left the research academy. Is there any way to find out whether Emil and Aster are the same person? A researcher named Relina is currently at the Temple of Lightning. She started working here at the same time as Aster. She and Aster were close friends. She also knows quite a bit about Radatosk. I'll give you a letter of passage to go inside the temple. Go and see her. Are you sure? It seems like you've been really strict about who you'll let inside. Lately, we've had an unusual number of lightning storms around here, and it seems the temple might be the source of it. What's more, the dimensional boundary in part of the temple has become warped. Dimensional boundary? In other words, how should I put this? This world and another world are starting to mix. The detailed explanation is far too complicated, so that will have to do for now. Anyway, it's not safe, so please be careful while you're in there. Right, let's head to the temple. Okay.